Hey guys, Brian and Kevin coming to you from the Storage View Lab, and today we're back with another look at Grade Technologies uh, hardware and software combination. I didn't think we'd be back with Grade again this fast. We've done a number of projects using uh, their software and, and hardware combo last year, but this is a new Grade card. Yes, yeah, so it's not uh, it's not faster, it's not bigger, it's designed <laughs> for smaller deployments. It's in fact much smaller, yes. much less expensive. And the software license uh, supports eight NVMe drives with this card, which, uh, yeah, to your point, we're used to seeing everything get bigger and bigger, support a bazillion petabytes or whatever with, uh, with a GPU. This is yeah, designed... not all customers need that. Not all customers need it. This is designed for smaller environments. And actually, we have a perfect smaller environment that just came in. This is a new Supermicro server based on the uh, AMD Sienna CPUs. So our other platforms were uh, AMD 9004 uh, sockets. This is a 8004 uh, socket. Um, a lot of the same technology just built for a smaller, more condensed budget, so. A lot of edge use cases that don't need a bazillion cores no. that are really more concerned about energy efficiency, performance per watt, stuff like that, right? Oh well, yeah. and like. Core counts have gone insane. So, I mean, when you look at some of the platforms that we re reviewed recently, we're looking at a, a dual 120 core platform. That's no like 256 cores. Yes, or 512 threads. No one necessarily. Unless SMT is disabled. Not everyone needs that. Uh, so, this platform, this tops out at a 64 core CPU, 120 threads, and you still have uh, six membrane channels. The others would be uh, 12 channels per CPU, so yeah. a little smaller RAM footprint, but this is still a powerhouse in terms of uh, performance. All of that to say that there's a need for edge compute or smaller compute, and this grade combination for this server is actually pretty sweet. Now, this does have 10 bays. You could use the other two drive bays either for hot spares or a volume for something else or whatever you want to do. Well, yeah, I mean, there's still software. Rate. Like, you could leverage right. a little RAID 1 volume for, for something boot. else. And, yeah. yeah, I mean, you could do boot. It does have on board, but these are, uh, uh, these two M.2 slots here are Gen 3, right? Yeah, so. It's so, probably still fine for boot. Well, yeah, so that's the other Sienna thing where you get 96 lanes of uh, PCI Gen 5. Right. It sounds like a lot, but when you combine the uh, 10 bays in the front and three uh, by 16 slots in the rear, that's 88 lanes. You're left with eight lanes total and you end up making some compromise on what, what has to uh, interface or what speeds. And that's where onboard's PCI Gen 3, which still is fine for a boot, but maybe you want something a little bit faster. This gives you some pretty flexible options. The cool thing about it, though, is just because we're saving on CPU selection, board design, a simpler layout, where we're saving that investment, we're not going to lose the drive performance when we com combine it with the grade card. Now, Reset the grade card for those that don't know. I mean, this is obviously an NVIDIA GPU yeah. with a little grade branding on the side, uh, but this is nothing fancy. No, it's a uh, NVIDIA T400. The, right. um, the other Gen 3 offerings that we've seen were based on the uh, T1000, and then for their newer um, Gen 4 offerings, they offer uh, they go to a uh, A2000. We've also leveraged the A2. Yes. They're very agnostic in terms of what they support. They really offer a lot of different options depend on, uh, depending on what platforms you want to be built around. And so this T400 coincides with the power efficiency that we're talking about here in this system, uh, but also allowing those drives to run, as we said. This card with the uh, grade license, I'm told it retails or is a MSRP of around 900 bucks. These are sold through distributors, so negotiate as you will. But for that value, to let these drives go at full speed and also take a lot of the, the RAID management off the CPU, put it onto this GPU, yeah. it's a pretty good proposition. Yeah, I mean, it's really cool. So enough about all of that. I want to get this thing in the system and get those drives loaded. We're using, uh, while well, Kevin does that, we are using eight of the Western Digital 15.36 terabyte SSDs. These are NVMe, of course. Uh, we've used them for vSAN and other projects and found them to be nice drives, so I'll probably break it. You will. Uh, so we'll get those loaded in and see what sort of performance profile we get. According to Grade, I uh, cheated and printed it out and we can put it up on the, the screen here, but uh, they're talking about, this is the SR1001, the small uh, system with eight drives. They're talking about 6 million 4K IOPS, uh, up to 80 gigabytes a second throughput on, on large block. Anything else stand out to you there? 
I mean, it's fast. I mean, that's that's the takeaway. That's the takeaway, and it's always fast. We've done this with QLC. Uh, we've done it with uh, recently with Coxia with their uh, TLC drives and another super micro server. It's fast, and yes. so we're gonna run. What are we doing here? What goes on this system? We're gonna install Ubuntu on here, and we will also be leveraging these drives. We'll not be showing you how to put these drives in because it's an awful process of screws. Yes, it's not uh, not toolless caddies. Uh, so yeah, let's load the drives, get an OS on here, uh, run your initialization, get some Fio scripts going and see how this performs. I'm hoping that we get full access to everything those drives can offer. Yeah. I'm a little, are you suspicious at all? I'm a little hesitant that the sort of light CPU, lighter system design of the Sienna would hold us back, but. I don't think the CPU and the platform's gonna hold us back. We're probably gonna see more of the limits of what the uh, affordable, or the more cost-effective grade offering's gonna do because 80 gigabytes per second's a lot, but take a Gen 4 drive that's rated for six, seven gigabytes a second times eight, I mean, I don't even know what that is. I think it's less than 80. Well, I know seven times seven is 49. Yes. 50, seven times 50. I know, but the write speed goes up to 30 gigabytes a second. Write's the one that goes through the... Um, it's paired well with the eight drive count. All right. So Kevin's not worried. I'm a little bit dubious, but let's see how it goes. Uh, let's get the lid on, drives in, OS on, and uh, fire this bad boy up. Yeah. So as we hop into our lab, we see the server that we're leveraging for this is a uh, Super Micro 2U box. This is one of their new uh, AMD Sienna based platforms. This guy has a 64 core CPU, 192 gigabytes of RAM. And as you see here, we're loading this up with uh, the WD SN655 uh, Enterprise SSDs. These are around 15 terabytes of capacity. And when we pop this thing open, we see the NVIDIA GPU that offers the GPU offload for grade software. So overall, this server really paired well with this uh, new grade SR1001 offering. It's a more limited NVMe deployment. You have 10 bays, we're using eight of them. It's leveraging uh, the new uh, AMD Sienna CPU, single processor design, a little bit smaller RAM footprint, and this gives you an idea of how this thing could perform out in edge locations where you don't need the bigger deployments of uh, 20 plus SSDs. This is guy just leverages eight in the front and you still get fantastic performance. In the lab today, we're uh, testing Grade's new Supreme Rate SR1001 uh, solution. Now, this is a little bit different than the other products that we've looked at from them in the uh, sense that it's more focuses towards smaller deployments, edge locations. What that means is they have a uh, eight drive license restriction and instead of leveraging a, a T1000 card or an A2000 on their higher solutions, they pair it with a T400 NVIDIA card. So you get, um, it's really focused towards offering the most value in these smaller deployments and you just have a drive limit of eight drives. Now with that said, performance is not limited at all. And with that in mind, uh, we're gonna show off some of the performance stats that this thing will get. In this 4K random read workload, we're seeing just over six million IOPS and that works out to around 23 gigabytes a second of traffic. Uh, we're gonna switch over to uh, 4K random right now. And uh, here we're at uh, right around two gigabytes a second of traffic or around just north of 500,000 IOPS. Still really strong performance. Now on sequential read, this is where it gets pretty fun. So eight SSDs, we're seeing just, we're seeing north of uh, 40 gigabytes a second of traffic. So 44, I think it'll taper down around 41 gigabytes a second or 363,000 IOPS at a 128K sequential read workload. And then on sequential write, it comes out to uh, right around 18 or 20 gigabytes a second. And again, this is 150,000 IOPS on 128K uh, sequential workload. And you get really strong performance, even in this quote unquote value or cost effective offering. So Kevin ran a bunch of testing from his desk on eight of these 15.36 terabyte NVMe WD SSDs in the uh, Supermicro AMD Sienna system with the baby grade card and what happened? Performance is really good, as expected. Uh, we see really strong uh, switch read, sequential write, okay. uh, random read, random write, and um, a lot of that comes from you, NVMe performance is really good. It what some fast. people don't realize is there are certain NVMe workloads where you apply a write workload into a uh, RAID group 
depending on that RAID technology, it may not be what you'd expect. While we showed a lot of the benefits of uh, hardware RAID, we also started to run software RAID tests in those same environments. Uh, and that's where the results get pretty interesting on a solution like this. So you looked at the RAID card performance with great software in the drives, then uh, you also went back and did some software RAID, and, and as usual with this product, we like to do the head-to-head -head so that you know what you get essentially for free with Linux, right? Versus yeah. what you get with the great solution. And I'm sure we mentioned it at the beginning, but just to reiterate, we're talking about a $900 solution list for the grade card and license to go with this eight drive uh, configuration. And I don't know if I said it, but I know now that I think if you beg your, your sales rep really nicely, they might give you a 10 bay if you want to use all, all drives on this. But point being, the little T400 does a tremendous amount of, uh, of heavy lifting with these drives, and uh, but you wanted to compare that to software RAID just to see what that $900 Delta gets you in terms of performance. Yeah, of course. On the uh, grade solution, we used a 4K stripe. On software RAID, we leveraged a uh, 32K chunk size. With software RAID, it's very specific on are you trying to optimize for small block or large block workloads. Uh, for consistency sake here, we stuck with a uh, mid-range uh, stripe size or chunk size for software RAID and uh, kind of bridge the gap between 4K workloads and 120K sequential uh, read, uh, read and write tests. With that in mind, sequential read, the leader is still software read. It has strong benefits there. We got uh, 54.6 gigabytes per second uh, with software read uh, and uh, 43.6 gigabytes per second with uh, the great hardware RAID. It's still funny to me to think about this is only eight drives cranking that much performance in the box. It's just yeah. really impressive. Now when you go to uh, right, this is where it gets pretty fun. Software RAID, which had an edge for uh, read, just plummets write activity. It goes down to uh, 2.1 gigabytes per second uh, versus 20 gigabytes per second. We go to our uh, 4K uh, random read workload, and it's 5.1 million IOPS on the software RAID side versus 6 million IOPS on uh, great solution. Okay. And then, it, as you'd expect, it drops even further when you go to the right workload. The software had got uh, just under 84,000 IOPS uh, versus grade, which uh, maintained 530,000 IOPS. So, still substantial improvements when you look at uh, the uh, right performance between software RAID and uh, GRADE's hardware RAID solution. So it's interesting data. We look at this, uh, we've looked at GRADE num a number of times, and this is the first time looking at their SR1001, which is, as I call it, baby GRADE for eight drives. And if you're gonna spend this kind of money on NVMe storage, you might as well get the most out of it. And to me, again, 900 bucks to unlock your drive's performance seems like nothing. I mean, what would a what would a full size Gen Five RAID card cost you from uh, Broadcom or Adaptech? I mean, you'd be at it'd least that deep. Yeah, it'd be substantially more, and you're also looking at it may not be available in the server you're looking to purchase. There's well, there's that too. Right? Yeah, you, you'd have to work around those solutions, and yes, you might be able to get higher performance with uh, going in with JBOD configurations, for example. But with there, you lose the, the entire point of parity protection is you lose a drive, you still have your data set. If you uh, kind of go fast and loose with a JBoss solution or like RAID Zero, right. you lose one drive, everything's gone. So you have to kind of balance that, and if you're looking to balance strong performance with uh, some amount of data protection, you have to kind of figure out which one works best for your solution. And like I said, in a cost, cost optimized scenario, because this server is really not all that expensive, these are targeted to uh, service providers, guys that host their own apps, Web3 kind of stuff, where you can take advantage of the cores, but you may not need all of the other benefits of the higher end AMD CPUs at a really low TDP on this CPU. I think we're like 200 watts on this yeah. thing, uh, and still 64 cores. So overall, a great combination of technology, and uh, if you're interested in grade, we'll link to the full review in, uh, performance review in the description here but we're also working with them on some new stuff to get this technology out to people in our Discord. So if you want to play with this on your own gear, with your own drives in a uh, compatible NVIDIA GPU, we're working on a program to make that happen. So if you're curious about that, want to learn and want to play, check out the Discord. We'll be talking about it in there. Um, and I know we got a bunch of notes from you guys too that want to see the full review on this server. We're working on it. We just wanted to start with the uh, storage with WD and grade in this thing first. 
but we'll be back with a uh, full review on this system as well. Until then, thanks for checking out the video and the baby grade uh, card and software review. We're looking forward to doing much more of this stuff in the future.